Hey guys, Flaming Shark, back with the video of videos, and I wasn't expecting this, I didn't think I'd have it in my possession so soon, I'm reacting to this Saturday night, probably about, I mean, not even too long after it's aired, but I already have it in my possession. It's not super high quality, but it's not low quality either. So it's definitely very watchable, so it'll be up here and it'll be cool. Predictions. So, I know the Friendship Games are going to be a competition, but we all know that's not what the movie's going to, that's not what the conflict's going to be. Villain time. Who's the villain going to be? Now, I know who I want the villain to be, and, and it's not going to be her. I want Human Twilight to become the antagonist, but we all know friendship bullshit's gonna happen. She's not going to be. So that leaves the question of who's left. Who else could be the villain? To be completely honest, I think the villain is gonna be a character we've not met from Crystal Prep, and it's gonna be stupid. I have a lot of faith for this movie, and I think it's gonna be very amusing very entertaining, but I get the feeling that it's going to be better than Rainbow Rocks in terms of just pure entertainment and MLP-like stuff, but I feel like the villain will not even come close to Adagio or the Dazzlings. I feel like the Sirens are the best villain we'll get in this franchise, so I have optimism that the majority of the movie is going to be better than Rainbow Rocks, but the villainous part of it, which is a good chunk of that movie, isn't. So it depends on how they do the villain. If, 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 if Twilight is the only villain that we know, like Sunset's not going to be the villain. Um, and that's the thing, Twilight becoming a villain has been a fantasy of mine, same as Celestia becoming a villain in the main show forever. And while I will not rule Celestia out at some point, even though I think the odds are a million to one, I can completely rule out Twilight of that universe. Our universe's Twilight will never become a villain. It's just not going to happen with the way her story's progressed. Which is kind of why I'm clinging to this idea that this random Twilight that we've never really met outside of like a, a, a 30 second post credit scene in Rainbow Rocks could somehow turn into a villain. But we all know how MLP works. Friendship, crap and all. And she's going to become friendly and everything's going to be good and happy. So... I just want to watch this movie. That's it. My Little Pony Equestria Girls Friendship Games will commence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and play. This is a good, uh, hi Sunset, what are you doing? Your new clothes and all. This is so hype. I got your text, Rainbow Dash. Did something come through the portal? Is Equestrian Magic on the loose? Did Twilight come back with a problem that- Solve? We can oh, I, I, I got it. So that sink at 333. Um, not exactly. Uh, I don't understand. The, the video is a little glitchy at the very top, but that's fine, it's not working. As an nice! It totally does. Wow! I just watched MLP yesterday, I mean earlier today, so this is like mind blowing that the movie is during the season and let alone on the same day as an episode. And yes, I'm listening to everything. I have it up a little louder than usual for me. Wow! But I kind of need all six drinks to do it. Got any extra? No comment. Oh! Here, but everyone finished practicing for the day. I'm pretty sure all the music rooms are locked. No problem. The acoustics in the hallway are perfect for power chords. Come on! Let's okay. Go. Okay, Rainbow. Okay. You coming, Sunset? I'll catch up in a bit. Oh, it's so nice to see Waifu. This background music. Oh, writing to Twilight. Dear Princess Twilight, how's life treating you in Equestria? Any cool new magic spells? It's been pretty quiet here at CHS since the Battle of the Bands. We still pony up when we play music, which Rainbow Dash just loves to show of off. Of course. But I still can't quite grasp what it's all about. I would love to hear what you think about it when you get a sack. 
your friend, Sunset. Shadow. That's cute. Very nice. Is this? <laughs> it's Twilight. Oh my god. This is amazing. I'm already just like yes. I miss season one Twilight so bad. I mean, I love her character development, but there was a price to pay for her character development. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> She's running away. Stop. This is an inch. Oh, wow. She's pretty badass. I didn't expect her to be so athletic. Who was that? Her name is Miss Sparkle. Yep. I just noticed that's the ha same hairstyle that Twi the Twilight had in the uh, in the Rainbow Rock short, uh, like the friendship lasts forever or whatever. Okay, here's Crystal Prep, right? What the heck? Oh, it's in the school. This music, it's so conspiracy. Whoa! What is this? Is this the intro? I got chills, guys. This is... This is crazy. What the hell is this? <sighs> guys. This intro... It's legit. Hi, Sunset. Oh, man, Sunset in the middle, because she's... Who are you? And it's Twilight in the back. That character looked like Trixie. <laughs> William Anderson and Daniel Ingram are here. All the way, all the way to the friendship games. Okay, that's a better sync point. Hey, all the way, all... Oh! I want to see Sunset versus Twilight, even if it's not an epic magic duel. I will take some bullshit friendship games. No offense. I mean, I'm actually excited for the friendship games. Okay, Tara Strong as Twilight. Rebecca as second billing. That's epic. This song is good. Oh. And you... Woo! Go Sunset. Get. Ooh. Hey, all the way, all the way to the friendship game. These, these lyrics are Principal Abacus Cinch. Cinch. Who's that? A who's that? A um. I missed the freaking VA for Abacus Cinch, but Cinch, Professor Cinch, or something like that. That's a re reference to something. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, dang it! I messed it up. <laughs> I don't have it all down. You're insane, Twilight. This is so cool. So I guess the prof the principal of Crystal Prep is going to be the villain, Abacus Cinch. <sighs> That's awesome, though. I don't know what that is. Is it like a magic detector? Is it going to detect Sunset and the her friends as the magic detectors? The the uh, equestri uh, the EQG main six? She was definitely doing something to the statue, or was going to. Do you think she came through the portal from Equestria? No, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed that. I think she was from over here. Well, that's a relief. The last thing we need is another magical so-and-so bent on world domination coming Adagio over. Adagio dazzle way. anyone? <laughs> or sunset. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that they did that again. Evil magic. The wear and tear on my wardrobe is just too much to Nice, Rarity. Nice. Still, a mysterious figure snooping around the portal? Don't you want to know what she was up to? <laughs> kind of the same thing else. you were up to in the well, Science and Magic short, trying to because figure how stuff works around who here. Ooh, ooh. A nighttime statue cleaner? A magical portal maintenance maker? Wow. A gardener? The fact that there was a book for that. I got off a bus from the city and got back on a bus headed to the city. 
I'll bet they go to... Crystal Prep. Yep. With the friendship game starting tomorrow, they totally try to prank us by defacing the Wonder Gold statue. Why would anyone take a bus all the way from the city for that? Because the Crystal Prep Shadow Bolts are our biggest rivals? Because that's just what the students at Crystal Prep <laughs> do. <laughs> nice. Because even though they beat us in everything, soccer, tennis, golf, they still have to gloat. Damn. Seems kind of silly to me. Silly? So, I guess you think the friendship games are silly too. Well, it's not like we'll be fighting the powers of evil magic. No, we'll be fighting against a school full of memes. Not everything has to be magical to It's be going to be magical. We all know that. I'm sorry. I know Just from that video. one trailer, I could get that. Mildly, darling. They're still revamping the playing field in preparation. Guys, I am so psyched that I... I don't understand I'm... why there's this big rivalry. Aren't the friendship games a supposed friendship? to be about our two schools getting along? Nope. Well, it's kind of hard to get along with someone who beats you at everything. Not anymore. <laughs> this time, things are going to be different. It's surprising Rainbow always loses. So you'll find out. As I am sure you all know, Tomorrow, Canterlot High School will be hosting our fellow students from Crystal Prep Academy as we join together in the spirit of excellence, sportsmanship, and... None of that's gonna happen. It's gonna be shitty. Games. There's gonna be no sportsmanship. It's gonna be dirty. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Every four years... I'm Every sure four years? So it's the Olympics, or is it the World You're Cup? Or is it the... Uh... And that... Yeah, exactly those are the only two I got, Olympics and World Cup. ...to come up and give you all a little, um, context. Thank you, Principal Damn, Sestia. boom! <laughs> I know a lot of you might think there's no way we can beat a fancy school like Crystal Prep at anything. Unless it's a losing to Crystal Prep competition, because we're really... That is true, Pinky. That is true, apparently. And I know that CHS has never won the Friendship Games Never. Once. Ever. I hope this speech isn't meant to be motivational. Oh, I love this music. Prep students are super athletic, super smart, and super motivated. But there's one thing they aren't. They aren't wonderfuls. We fought magic more than really? once. Really? And come out on top. Oh. There's other schools, but none can make those claims. Na, 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 na. Oh. Together we are Canterlot. Come and cheer our name. Oh. This will be our year to win these Ooh. games. We'll always be wonderful for You know it, Rainbow. And now our time has finally arrived. Yeah. Because we believe in the magic. Friendship. Oh, I called that one. <laughs> oh, vinyl. Oh yeah. Do it, vinyl. Go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. Go, Daniel. True. Secret password friendship. Win it. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that's the secret password. It was probably in a commercial. You won't bow. You can't kick my ass. I'm world class and super saiyan now. Oh yeah, it's time. My time has arrived to watch this epic movie, hopefully. So far, it's an interesting start. It is a slow... S it was a hot start, and now it's just building up to the games. Which I feel like are just a ruse for what the real conflict's gonna be. There's no way the games end up being the conflict. Ooh! Oh! Get in that High School Musical music. Hey, I like the music in High School Musical. I hate the movie, but the music itself is actually not bad. Just saying. Although this is a lot better. I like it. I don't love it, okay? And I do dislike the movie, so. There you go, Rainbow. And of the day, it is, uh, oh, it is we who survived. Dang it. That was awesome. That was a long ass song though. Wow. Rainbow Dash, that was amazing. You said it, Flutters. Even I feel like we can win. I feel like my school pride is at an old You know it, Rare. Is anybody else wondering how Dash ponied up without playing her guitar? 
I it was know. musical, though. It's probably because I'm so awesome. It's because she was uniting Maybe. friendship, too. I mean, you are awesome. <laughs> there's gotta be nice sunset. That, right? It just seems so It would be weird if I called her waifu all well, movie. Well, it would be nice if you girls could get a handle on it. We'd like to keep magic as far away from the friendship games as possible. We don't want to be accused of cheating. We don't need magic to defeat those hoity-toity crystal preppers. Crystal preppers. <laughs> it's kind of funny to say hoity-toity when it's rarity. Business. We don't want any surprises, especially the kind that could cause us to forfeit. Sunset Shimmer, you came here from a world of magic. Perhaps you can get to the bottom of our magical development. I'll do my didn't best. Didn't we... Didn't we already have a short okay. about this? Anybody have any guesses what the events are gonna be? Pie eating? Cake eating? I've seen that before. They won't even was that in the trailer? It the probably meeting. was. You'd think they'd at least tell competitors what they're competing in. It could be anything. Anything? How will I ever But you're the one. I really want to help. Maybe that's Canterlot doing that on purpose. Know, since really Canterlot's hosting it, they're saying you're not going to know. Later. So it's element of surprise. I might catch them off, off guard. Nothing to worry about. Uh, damn, that hairdo that one guy had. Okay, so she's... Ah, I see that little stick figure ho uh, human and stick figure pony. That was funny. Why not ask Princess Twilight for help? There we go. What a shocker. Hey, Twilight. <laughs> hey, Twilight. I, from you yet. I guess you must be pretty busy with your role as princess. But I could really use your advice right now. You see, I've been given the job of keeping magic under control here at CHS. Even though I still haven't quite wrapped my head around it. And now, after seeing Rainbow Dash pony up the way she did, it makes me think our magic might be changing. Everyone is looking to figure things out, and I really their magic could down. be changing. I, I didn't even I consider that. Chip magic to solve this. Huh? Interesting. Very interesting. And a crystal prep we go. Is this Twy? Yep. Ooh, this music. The loner, nerd, kind of weirdo, Twilight. Hi, Floor. Very nice. That's very fitting. Floor should definitely be at Crystal Prep. It makes sense. Aw, that's cute. Freaky as a... Oh, you can see a blurred out picture of the three. The, uh, the sirens there. That was a nice little touch. Nice. Last night's field test confirmed it, Spike. With this device, I can track and contain the bizarre energy coming from Canterlot High. I know you didn't like me going over there, but I just couldn't wait. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have all the time I need. All of Crystal Prep is gonna be there for the friendship games. I just hope all that rivalry nonsense doesn't get in the way of my research. If I can collect enough data on these EM frequencies, I should be able to extrapolate the waveforms to determine their origin. That would I'm curious why my entrance into the Twilight has this in room for herself that it looks like she lives in. Hello, Cadence! Oh my. Twilight, you know the rules. You look so human, holy crap. Spike is in a pet, Dean Cadence. Dean Cadence, okay. Human Very nice. Human cohabitation, effects and implications. If you say so, but Principal Cinch is highly Principal allergic, Cinch. so I suggest you put on a clean shirt. Why? Because she wants to see you. Ooh, maybe she has news about my application to Everton. I've been meaning to Everton, talk to you eh? That. Are you sure that's what you really want? Why wouldn't it be? A program that allows me to focus all my attention on my own advanced math and science projects? What a dream come true! But there aren't any classrooms with other students. You'll be doing everything. Exactly. Right. That is why it's called an independent study program. I just don't want you to miss out on anything. That's but she doesn't give a crap about people, friends. This is pre-season pre one Twilight. Or season one, episode I one guess. Twilight. Meet you in Principal Cinch's office in a few minutes? What's she so worried about? Everton is exactly what I need right now. <sighs> it's not like I have anything left to learn at Crystal Crap. Friendship! <laughs> Are you gonna sing? Can we get Tara instead of Rebecca as much? I've walked through all these halls. No, that's definitely Rebecca. <laughs> that would have been cool for the other world Twilight. I've been in and out of every 
It actually sounds a little different, but it's definitely Rebecca. There's nothing in this school that I don't know. Oh, friendship. In every class, my grade's the best. The highest score on every test. Damn. I think that means it's time for me Move on, to go. yeah. Fair enough. It makes sense. I know there's more that's out there, and I just haven't found it. Wow! She did not just say that. Why does this feel so Disney? This school is full of people, but still I don't belong. This feels so like let it go. Is it just me or does the background music fit let it go so much? I don't know. I did not call this. That was Let It Go without Let It Go. Another place, another way. And it's literally let it go, with, but written so the line let it go was taken away. That's literally what this song is. I'll find out someday. I'm, they did not just do that. Oh, MLP. At first I thought it was a Disney song. It's exactly what Disney song, and damn, that's creepy. All right, let's see the villain. Oh! Shining armor? Why is my brother here? As an alumni, Principal Cinch thought he could provide some unique perspective. Perspective on what? Why, the friendship games, of course. You competed in the games, did you not, Shining Armor? <clears throat> I did. Nice. And do you happen to recall who won? <laughs> Crystal Prep did. We always... Nice. Did. We always win. Why did you ask to see me? Twilight, I'll be honest. It doesn't matter whether or not Crystal Prep wins or loses. The important thing is that we are expected to win because Crystal Prep has a reputation. Fair enough. And it is that reputation, my reputation, that is responsible for everything we have. I wonder if that's Kathy since Spike isn't in this movie. Here. Would make sense, but and you've done quite a lot, I can't tell you? if that's her voice or not. I don't know. I guess. Oh, don't be modest. You're the best student this school has ever seen. What I can't understand is why my best student wouldn't want to compete. In the friendship games? Look, Twiley, I know it's not really your thing, but representing the school is kind of a big deal. Plus, they could really use your help. It seems Cantalot High is undergoing something of a renaissance. Test scores are up, grades, even athletics are on the rise. You see, they are developing somewhat of a reputation. Damn! This cannot Fair happen. enough. Principal Cinch, I can't possibly participate That's not a Grinch reference, it's something are... else. Ah, yes. You're I've heard that name before. Kidding. Could you and it's, I think it's Disney too for the Everton Independent Study Program. Of course. I understand you've applied. You see, one of the advantages of having a reputation is a certain amount of influence in such things. So, let me offer you a deal. 
In return for contributing your agile mind to these games, I will use my influence to guarantee your application is approved. Damn. Though I suppose I could also have it denied. Damn. What do you well, we all know what's going to happen here. Okay, so Twily is in the friendship games. Interesting. This is such a unique plot. This is probably the most interesting plot in an MLP anything. It's simple, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes a lot more interesting than the main plot, so to speak. The only difference now is that I have to compete. Besides, it's not like Principal Cinch gave me much of a choice. I know Spike. It's such a I probably won't be able to collect any She has to be the villain, but I don't see her as the villainous type. Yeah, she's ruthless, but not evil. There's a difference. Spike, I wouldn't leave without you. know? Just remember to be quiet and try not to shed. But we, it, it, it ha she has to be the villain because we're 20, we're like 22 minutes into the movie. She's the only one we met. I'm not really sure where to go. One second, Twilight. You could try the end of the line. What did you say? Just that someone as smart as you should definitely go first. I I didn't mean to. I was just asking. This is the right bus, Twilight. Go ahead. But I didn't mean to cut in front. Well, it's too late now. Damn, they're dicks. Are we gonna win? I I don't know. Wrong answer. Try again. Are we gonna yes. win? Yes. Um. I guess? It's just... I mean, I heard that CHS is doing well now, with their reputation. And, I mean, it's not better than ours, of course. But we can't let them do it, you know? Win, I mean, right? That was a weird peps talk, but she is right. You're gonna have to take a seat. Yeah, just sit down in the back or in the front. Oh, wow. Oh, is that Surrey? That looked like Surrey. Why do you look so much like Trixie? Hi, Sugarcoat. That was a really bad speech. You should consider not speaking in public. Fair enough. So she looks like maybe a nerdy... Well, Spike, wow. You took you. Spike with you. Now there's two ways that they can figure out that you're Twilight, even though they'll figure it out once they see you. And that's actually really bad music. Yeah, I'll stick with my uh, band over here. The uh, rain a music competition because we would totally rock it. Um, we're supposed to keep magic out of the friendship games, remember? Easier said than done, darling. I'm sure in Equestria magic does whatever you want, but this isn't Equestria. Damn. Well, when it comes to magic, my I'm foot sure is so numb. Out. My and left foot. Sunset works on keeping the magic out of the games. I have been working on what to put in. <laughs> Oh no, not the costumes. Oh no. Yeah. I had a little time on my hands. <laughs> Pirate. Since we don't know what the friendship games event. That's funny, I've been playing I've been going through the Across Assassin's Creed franchise and I'm on Black Flag, so No. You really didn't have to. I know. Vice Principal Luna can help your students get settled if you'd like me to show you around, Principal Cinch. There have been quite a few changes since your last visit. Oh, yes, Principal Celestia. I'm sure that would be fascinating. You don't seem interested, do you? Oh, it's always such a pleasure to see you, Dean Cadence. Even if it means another defeat. Thank you, Vice Principal Luna. But I hear it's not going to be so easy. Nice. Very, very nice. Damn, that's gotta Seriously? suck. Oh, sorry. It really wasn't her fault, but you know how Twilight's yes. luck is. Oh, sorry. That was on you purpose, are. come on. You are such a Okay, they're the villains. I am watching you. I'm joking, they're not the villains, but <laughs> I kinda wish they were so they could get wrecked. Yeah. Oh, hey, in her defense, she doesn't even see you. You are kinda being a doormat right now. Man, she just tells it like it is. I like her, the one that looks like Trixie with the glasses. Hi, Lyra. Hi, Bama. Hi, Twilight. <laughs> they just say hi, Twilight. Hey, Twilight. 
Uh, everybody recognizes her. <laughs> this is funny. Hey, hey, you're looking good. Um, hi. Hey, what's happening? Really nice to see you. Twilight, how you doing? This is creepy. Hi. Hello. Uh, oh, no. This is not happening. Twilight? I almost didn't recognize you. When did you start wearing glasses? Um, like since forever. Oh, so how long are you here for? Just for the friendship games. Right, of course. We'll totally win with you here. Oh no. Yep. Uh, oh, no. she doesn't give a crap. Okay. I love this Twilight. Aw, uh, Derpy's just like, oh poor guy. Uh, <laughs> I like that football gear. Why would you put so much time and effort into clothes? We might not even welding. Why is there welding? What sunset in that welding attire? Silly darling, putting effort into clothes is what I live for, and spending time on my friends fills me with energy and magic. So now, just whenever you're super happy, you go pwn. You pwn up. And magic too, I guess. Wonderful. Whoa! Oh, I just... It's like a makeup thing. Oh, shit. It's absorbing energy. Damn, she's such a genius. It's gonna... Actually, Applejack, now that you mention it, I suppose I could use it. Damn, the ears... The fact that the ears move spots. I told you. Twilight? Uh, yes? Well, I'll be. You should have told us you were coming. Darling, those glasses. <laughs> what are you wearing? It's so severe. My uniform? Your uniform for what? For crystal prep. But why does everyone at the school know who I am? Did you just say crystal prep? Ruff, ruff, <laughs> you know my dog's name? This is so funny. And our music program has especially taken off. Twilight? This is getting ridiculous. I must apologize for the curiosity of my prize student. Your student? The smart ones are always curious. That is I'll true. To check in with the but that makes me classes. really smart. I'm actually pretty smart. I didn't know I'm not Twilight my own had a horn, twin sister. Could be smart. She doesn't. That Twilight is obviously the Twilight from this world, since it couldn't possibly be the Twilight from the Pony World, since the Twilight from the Pony World doesn't go to Crystal Prep or the Twilight. That's true. She's right on the money. Never mind. <laughs> Celestia doesn't even try. I'm sorry, Principal Cinch. I was just following these strange readings. Actually, they led me to those girls and Twilight. What you do in your free time is of little interest to me, but while you're here, I, all of Crystal Prep, in fact, require your complete focus. I, I I'm starting to get a little unsure as to whether but why does everyone at the school seem to know me? Perhaps they're trying to confuse you. Perhaps they're trying to lure you away. They've scouted you. It didn't feel like anyone was trying to lure Well, they were being nice, though. I don't though. know what they're playing at, but I guarantee it isn't to help us win. Yeah, why would... Well, she's right, actually. I can't believe our world's Twilight goes to Crystal Prep. You're saying that Twilight's gonna play... The secret password is friendship. She'd never do that. Our Twilight wins. That PG symbol is Our cool. Our Twilight is a princess in Equestria and an expert in friendship magic. And if she was here, we'd have already figured out why magic is randomly... Aw, stop hating on yourself, Shimmer. Changes. Shimmer, don't start glimmering or you're gonna become my other favorite character. Having her back from her. She's a princess in Equestria. Probably got problems of her own to deal with. We certainly can't expect her to drop everything and pop through the portal whenever. Especially if it's to deal with something as minor as a few random pony-ups. Pony-ups. They aren't minor. Magic came into this world when I stole Twilight's crown. It's taken a lot for me to earn everyone's trust. If we have to forfeit the games because I can't think of a way to keep it under control... Considering we're oh, half an so hour into the movie, I'm, I'm unsure as to whether or not we're really going to have a villain or not. I'm starting to think there isn't a villain. But I'm not positive. Really it, it's either the principal Don't you remember, darling? or Twilight's I friends. I know I'm focusing too much on that, but I am focusing on the movie right now. It is really good. It's really good. This one has the most coherent story, so I gotta give Josh Haver a lot of credit because I wasn't hyped when I heard that he was writing the movie instead of Megan. 
then again, the less uh, uh, Flash sentries in it, the better it's going to be. No offense to Flash. I don't hate him, but I hate everything they do with him. So I guess I kind of do hate him in a non-hater way, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Maybe there's another way I could reach her. Whoa! Oh, damn! That was badass, and that... What did you do? Twilight, you have to check in with the others. No way! Where's the portal? She absorbed the... She absorbed the magic of the portal so the portal doesn't work. How much you want bet Rarity can't pony up like the other five now? Because Rarity's magic got absorbed by Twilight's machine. What do you mean the portal's gone? I mean it's gone. It's closed. It's not there anymore. How it's not been that many moons, I'm assuming, so. I don't know, but it has something to do with that Twilight. What in tarnation is she up to? Leave this to Oh me. shit. Sunset and Twilight are actually having a conflict. What have you been up to? Me? Oh, I was just in the watch to know. Um, we do. Ooh, two rainbow dashes, so to speak. Let's not get too competitive before the, the game's competitive. Even start. The games aren't really competitive since we've never Oh! Lost. That's not a <laughs> Sorry, dearie, but these games aren't about being nice. Oh, I love this. I might use a little tact. Oh, hi. I'm Twilight. I know. You look just like Dang, your hair pretty. blew Twilight out. Twilight too. That's uh, weird. What's that? It's sort of a spectrometer. I built it to track EM frequencies, but it can also contain anomalies. EM frequencies. It measures things hmm. like the party. Yeah, though it doesn't look like much of a party. <laughs> Vinyl just it's just like, yeah. Something is definitely missing. Everyone, I'd like to take this opportunity to greet all of our visitors from Crystal Prep Academy and welcome them to CHS. <sighs> what in the world is a party this? cannon? Party wow, I was right. And lastly, are you kidding me? I was actually the right. Students that CHS has elected to compete. I don't. I'm sorry. Chosen a better group I was just close in that. Sorry. And friendship, the game stand for. So we know we know who six of them are, but who are the other six? Did I miss it? Oh, that actually got the everybody going. I'm assuming Flash Sentry, Lyra, Bon Bon, Durfee. There it is. Oh, it actually got all happy now. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Very nice. They're getting along. That's cool. Oh, here we go. Pinky's magic is gonna get absorbed, I'm assuming. Did Sunset miss it? Or did Sunset see it? There goes a portal, doesn't it? And there's the uh, Questria, what's it called? Uh, Ever Everfree Forest. This is interesting. I am like so invested in the outcome of this. I'd like to thank Principal Celestia for her unconventional welcome. It's been four years since the last Friendship Games, but it feels as though nothing has changed. Canter Lot High continues to pick its competitors in a popularity contest, and Crystal Prep continues to field its top 12 students. It is a comfort to know that even after so many years of losses, your school remains committed to its ideals, however misguided. I love how they organize themselves into the I two wish schools. You all the best of luck, regardless of the inevitable outcome. Damn! That's a pretty... See, she is kind of stirring the pot. They were all friendly, and then she was like, nope. definitely broke the ice. Yes. If only that principal cinch hadn't frozen it again. Yeah, 
She's awful. Wow, Pinky, what happened to you? I don't know. Everyone started having fun after Twilight and I fired the party cannons and I ponied up. Of course you did. But then the magic just drained right out of me. Wait, what do you mean, drained out of you? Hey, where is that other Twilight? Oh, she's right... Uh, well, she was right here. Dang. So is Twilight trying to find somewhere safe to analyze this? Good morning, students. I'm sure you're all thrilled to start the first day of the Friendship Games. Our competitors will face off in every aspect of the CHS curriculum, culminating in the Elimination Equation Finale. The Elimination the Equation event, Finale? The Academic Decathlon. You'll be scored on chemistry, home ec, and everything in between. But remember, only the six students from each team with the most points will move on to six. event number two. Six. Obviously, we know which six. I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna take you down. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course, Derpy gets a limit. I've heard this song. Or no, I only heard like a tiny bit of it, but... Oh, that's what this is. This is from the trailer. Let's go. Shadow. Oh, lightning cult? Damn. This is a school versus school song. Shadow Bolts. It was the Shadow Bolts. That was what the S stands for. Ah! Oh. What is this? There's actually a face-off between the bosses? I know, Twilight. Man, Rebecca, you're working overtime. Can she do it? Will she of course, it, these two are the geniuses, because in canon, they're both geniuses. Holy... I could probably do what this is... Wow, wow photo finish. That means the winner of the Friendship Games first event is Twilight Sparkle and Crystal Breath. <laughs> that was the that best was reaction awesome. ever. Truly amazing. But we didn't win. That was as close to winning as Canterlot's ever been. After a careful tally of the points, we'd like to present the students moving on to the Friendship Games second event. Yeah, she's just like, I. <laughs> So she's kind of sad that she's not on the other team. Fair enough. Congratulations. You were really great. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, then. Uh. That's amazing! I feel so bad for Flash, but it's so fucking funny! Uh, excuse my language. I'm so sorry about that. I've been trying to hold back my language on this particular video, because I know it'll get a lot of traffic, but... That just slipped you out. give her a treat? Guess I'm not the only one to smuggle her pet into school. <laughs> not just one. Wow. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a different cat. All I have is Spike. It really is uncanny. 
Does he talk? Um, not that I know of. Congratulations on winning, by the way. Though, it didn't seem like anyone on your team was very excited. They expect to win, so. No one at my school gets excited about anything they didn't do themselves. Wow. That sounds awful. That actually is kind of shitty. Here. Hold this. Aw, Angel Bunny. Is he going to slap um, you in the face? Why? Holding a bunny always makes me feel better. Oh, no. Angel's actually oh, nice in this world. But... Actually, kind of works. Aww, that's cute. I'm on the other team, and or should I say, lost. Kawaii? Why so nice to me? Kawaii you desu. Like oh, it's when they're portraying their element of uh, harmony. That's what it is. Whoa! It's from the other world. Whoa! What in the world? Spike, are you okay? See, she doesn't give an F about Fluttershy. Oh, it's the other Spike! Wait! Wait! Oh, Spike got hit with the magic, so Spike got the magic. This is still, I think, this world Spike. Maybe it has something to do with the glowing girl, or the hole in space, or my talking dog. Yeah, weird, right? Are you okay? How do you feel? What happened? Where did you go? Hey, one question at a time. This is pretty new. To <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is the regular All spike. So Kathy gets some work in. Really thing, and then it was somewhere else. Next thing I knew, I was back in that nice girl's arms, and I could talk. I don't really understand why I couldn't before. I mean. It's so easy. Twilight. Quick, hide in here. Who are you talking to? Um, myself. It's a nervous habit. Were you looking for me? Indeed I was. Quite a coincidence that the CHS students moving on to the next event are the same nice girls who were so interested in you. Don't you think? I'm not She's sure. actually right. Perhaps you should get to know them after all. But I thought you didn't want me to. Let's just say I'm covering my bases. Who knows? Perhaps they will reveal to you the secret to Cantalot High's newfound success. I don't know. Spying feels kind of wrong. Yeah, those eyes say. Well, it's your decision. Oh! Right? It's not as if your application hangs oh. in the balance. <laughs> it does. Wow, it she's does. she's not even subtle. She's just like oh, man, deal with it. She's awful. What are you gonna do? Spy? I don't know, Spy. Duh. I don't if I was her, I'd spy the hell out of them. I mean, they're not my friends, at least not yet. All I did was hand just saying. Bunny. Then I ponied up. I just don't get it. Rarity's magic came out when she made us outfits. They're doing what they love, the that's why. And now Fluttershy. And then Twilight's pendant thingy just pulled the magic right out of me. I couldn't even stand up. Like me at the party! Or me right before we met Twilight. So she's stealing magic? I don't know. She doesn't seem like the magic stealing type. Yeah, but she had something to do with closing the portal. If her pendant can pull in magic, maybe it stole the portal too. How? I don't know. And the pony or person or princess who could help me figure this out is completely unreal. It's up to you, Sunset. Which is too bad, because Twilight knows everything about magic and portals and magical portals. Wow. Just, wow, you're not helping, Pinky. For now. Let's just focus on beating the Shadow Bolts. And as long as this event puts me in a playing field, I don't think we've got... I'm gonna be tired as heck after this. I'm a, I can what tell that I'm tired, but my body is not registering it because I'm adrenaline rushing because I'm watching friendship games. That's awesome. Am I the only one who thinks this is overkill? I don't suppose you made motocross outfits. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course, really? You will race in pink. Wow. Zap and Sugarcoat will handle the motocross. Yes. Lemon Zest and Sunny Flare have requested the short track. Since archery is a standard requirement at our school, any of you should be able to do it. Twilight and Sour Sweet will start us off. Well, that's just marvelous. If 
you want to lose before we even start. Damn! Given the Twilight won the last event single-handedly, I have every confidence that she will be able to pull her weight here. Won't you? Yes, ma'am. Why is the principal ahead of the dean? I actually don't. Maybe I'm just derping on my silliness. Welcome everyone to the Friendship Games Tri-Cross Relay. In this event, our qualifying competitors will face off in... Of course. Why is Fluttershy an arch... And finally... Damn, Sunset and Rainbow. That's actually a good choice. So, if the competitors are ready... So we start with archery. Each competitor must hit a bullseye before their teammates can start the next leg of the relay. Damn! Damn! That was bad ass. Yeah, seriously, like, what the hell? Teamwork, come on, teamwork! Help her! Why am I rooting for Crystal Prep? Help her! If she doesn't win, you don't win. Oh my god, just what? Well, no, I, maybe you can't help her. Yeah, what a shocker. Wow, she's dressed like, uh, uh, air, uh, uh, not right, what am I, uh, not great, uh, Robin Hood. At least, that's what it looked like to me, I couldn't think of his name. And Canterlot is off to an early lead. Well, that's just fantastic! I'm sure glad I don't go with Chris. I know, right? You said it. Damn. If CPA can't hit another bullseye soon, they'll be out of this race. You're really bad at this. Uh, I can't take anymore. You have to stop aiming at the target. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Don't aim at the target. Thanks so much. Wow. You have to stop aiming at where the target is and aim at where the target's gonna be. Yeah, definitely take advice from the person you're competing against. Do you want to hit the bullseye or not? Then trust me. And now she experiences honesty, and she's gonna experience them in order of the Elements of Harmony in Season 1, Episodes 2. <sighs> oh, it's gonna hit! Come on! Oh, nice! I was telling you the truth. Yes, and now Twilight absorbs another pwn. We all know she's gonna absorb everyone who's not named Sunset. We know it's gonna come down to Sunset. What are you doing? I don't know. No! Oh shit, what the hell? A portal to Equestria? Secret password is friendship. Win it. Whoa! We're getting magical up in here. Oh, here we go, motocross of all things. I never thought I'd see this in MLP. What? How does nobody see this? How is nobody noticing any of this? Really? Like, what? <laughs> yeah.
Damn! It just completely wrecked her bike. Like, what the hell? Dash, you saved me. I wasn't about to let my friend become. Yeah, I know, really? Like, that would suck. Oh, here we go. And now Rainbow goes pony. And then it gets absorbed. We can still win this. We All right, I need to take a break. Let's get started again. Dash, you saved, you me. saved me. There we go. Sync point. Yes. And now we're pretty much back to where I was. I just went back a tiny bit so I could have a sync point. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, she looked like a superhero with that pose with her gloves and the fist. This is so crazy, I love it. Oh, who's gonna get it? It was sunset. And it... Attention students, please proceed to the gym. The timing of that. The freaking timing Is of that. Everybody all right? Better than all right. We won. So Rainbow didn't get absorbed yet. Somebody could have been seriously hurt. The magic is going haywire, and I have no idea how to fix it. Um, excuse me. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I just wanted to learn about the strange energy coming from your school. I didn't know that it was magic or how it works. That's okay. That was funny. Or this is funny, I should say. Yeah, you shouldn't be touching it. Hello, Equestria. It also causes these corresponding rifts to appear. I don't know how that works either. Is there anything you do know? Like how to get our magic back or how to fix the portal to Equestria? Equestria? You're supposed to be so smart. But did you ever think that you shouldn't be messing around with things you don't understand? Oh, that line actually happened. I want to understand. But you don't. And worst of all, you put the lives of my friends in danger. Holy shit. Wow, they actually referenced mortality. Like, they just referenced death. Holy crap, did Sunset get a little overboard, too. You can't possibly call that a fair race. Principal Cinch, we all saw what happened. You can't think CHS had some kind of advantage. Can't I? Even without your trained attack plans, your students have wings. Well, the race certainly had some extenuating circumstances. Perhaps we should end the games now and declare a tie. A tie? Was this your strategy all along? To force us into accepting you as equals? I think not. Damn! The games will continue and Crystal Prep will prevail wow. despite your antics and whatever performance-enhancing regimen your students are on. Performance-enhancing regimen. I'm sorry I couldn't stop all this from happening. It's not your fault, Sunset. Isn't it? I should know how to control the magic I brought here. But I don't. I let everyone down. And you think you should have all the answers, but the truth is you don't have any, and you don't need any. It, but you're it right. Does. The students here at CHS don't just want to win, they want to beat Crystal Prep. It isn't going to count if the other side doesn't really think they lost. Crystal Prep is never going to believe we won fair and square if there's magic around. And that magic is only around because of me. Well, in all s seriousness, I think everyone's magic's been stolen except for the main course, Sunset Shimmer. Which you have to assume isn't going to happen. The winner of the friendship games. Somewhere on campus, a pennant from each school has been hidden. The first team to find their school's flag and bring it back wins. And as soon as our teams are ready, we'll begin. But I don't feel like playing these games anymore. But we have to play. This is the last event. It's a little hard to focus with all the magic stealing and portal opening. And I feel awful about what I said to Twilight. Especially since she obviously didn't mean to do all the stuff she did. 
She's actually really Plot nice. twist, she actually did? No, no, I'm just kidding. That'd be amazing. Or plot twist, Sunset's words turns Let's her into the villain. This last event and prove we're not a bunch of cheaters. So, then the principal Cinch knows about the magic now, so she's really absolutely the villain. That isn't playing fair. But Kent and Lot High must be made to understand that even with magic at their disposal, beating Crystal Prep is simply not an option. What if they grow wings again? A fair question, though I believe we can now fight fire with fire. No way! I've seen what your device can do, Twilight. Containing magical energy is fine, but have you considered releasing it? But I don't even understand how it works. But you'd like to. And since our opponents have already used it to stay competitive, I see no reason why we shouldn't do the same. Unless, of course, you have no interest in Everton. Though, honestly, I think there's more knowledge packed in that little device than any independent study program could offer. She's kind of right. Is that you've always been an outcast. It's not everyone at school who likes to think. Whoa. To find a student that's like you. I've had one or maybe two, but the mm. good ones disappear before I blink. Now I understand you have your reservations. It's hard to have a brain as large as yours. But if we don't win these games, well, I think I've made it plain what will happen if we have the losing score. Oh, this is her version of the Bat Song, but eight times better. This isn't a chill. I'm st I'm legitimately cold. Call it power, call it magic. If we lose, it will be tragic. More important is the knowledge we'll have lost. A chance like she's playing her so well. You regret not giving in. Isn't understanding magic worth the cost? This is like, it's like they're trying to use peer pressure and, and, and knowledge to turn her evil. But again. At this point, the villain has to be either Twilight or the principal, and it's going to be the principal, but... Because... song I can't believe the 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 main six are letting this happen. Like, are you not paying attention? Oh, Twilight's time to... She's gonna do it. Is she gonna have a sunset? What's gonna happen? I, I don't know what's gonna happen. This song. Sunset's trying to stop her. She. Oh, is Sunset gonna turn into a demon? Or just a magic blast? Yeah, she's regretting it now. What is going to happen? No way! No! No! I've never busted that out. <laughs> you were right. I didn't understand magic before. 
They did not. They did not. No way. This is not happening. 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 They're doing the best to do it. Monster. And I suggest you do the same. I've been I've been talking about it the whole movie, and I didn't think there was a chance in hell. Oh, Terra Strong is a villain. Forget Harley Quinn when we got evil freaking Twilight. I can't believe this is happening. Oh. This is the type of crap. This is the type of crap that even in that that I thought would only exist in fan fiction. Oh, they're gonna help. Nice. Twilight's linking them together. All right, here we go. They're gonna friendship up, and they're gonna beat. They're gonna beat. Uh, they're gonna beat. What's her name? Twilight. This isn't the way. I know you feel powerful right now. Like you can have everything you want. I've been where you are. I've made the same mistake you're making. I put on a crown, and just like you, I was overwhelmed by the magic it contained. It goes I full circle. Get me everything I they couldn't do it with oh, Princess Twilight. Unlike you, I can have everything I want. Oh, no, <laughs> come on, Twilight. I, I, I can't root Where against white. Ooh. Ah. Uh, Laughter. Generosity. Kindness. Fuck it. I'm evil. I understand you, Twilight. Let's go. I'm rooting for Twilight, even though I know she's gonna lose. Come on, Twilight. Oh my god. Sunset. <laughs> the magic of friendship. <laughs> the next era of Celestia versus Luna, it's come again. With the next generation. Oh my god, Twilight and Sunset. <gasps> how she loses oh that that little that little black and white fade was incredible take my hand twilight let me show you there's another way don't Just do like it someone once did for me it really has come full circle sunset took twilight's hand and now twilight is gonna take sunset's hand She didn't choose evil though. Evil consumed her and then once she was consumed by evil, she became evil. They'll forgive you. Principal Celestia, on behalf of Crystal Prep, I demand that you forfeit the friendship games. Clearly, it was your student. had unfair advantage for quite some time, and it's certainly obvious that your students have been using magic for their own benefit. I'd like to think that saving the world benefits us all. 
At least they didn't manipulate Twilight into releasing all the stolen magic and turning into a power crazed magical creature that tried to rip the world apart just to win a game. Best character. Best wow, character. That's a lot to take in when you say it all at once. So you could argue yeah, the princess so or the principal was nope. the villain, but that's the real villain was Twilight, obviously. Like I know that she was the real villain, like she's the reason it happened, but yeah. Obviously, my students have been infected with your magic, but I plan on taking all of this up with the school board. Good. Damn. I'm sure they would oh, be very sorry. interested in hearing My battery's at 10%. Not good. Dreams. Oh, and the portals to different dimensions. And don't forget to tell them about the talking dog. <laughs> because that would never ruin your reputation. Damn. Oh, she got wrecked. I know this had to happen, but after the Twilight Resolution, which was the best ending to anything ever, this really is whatever. Well, I know these friendship games uh, haven't I'm been done. what any of us expected, but given what we've all just been through, I think it's fair to declare us all winners. And if you're wondering, I always keep Goldfish. I've always kept it for the moment where I am beyond done. These have been here for over a year worth of reactions time. and Pretty and they sure weren't here for Twilight's Kingdom but I would have used back. them before that I've and yes I am about it and I'm not um, so sure now is the time I finally brought it out so really? yes this is a gag really that I've been saving for over a year friendship isn't really one of them and every I'm reaction that's been in this room at least alone all the time so I never thought I'd I honestly at this point thought I'd never use it but they came and a couple goldfish fell on my you floor for afterwards. School instead. Really? Aww. You'd certainly be missed at Crystal Prep, but I Man, Cadence looks idea. so weird. Sure she looks so human. To like right too ahead. human. Still no word from Princess Twilight? Not yet. But I think I may have figured out how magic works in this world. We pony up when we're showing the truest part of ourselves. I was so busy waiting. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about earlier. That I gave up looking for them myself. I'm sure there will be more magical problems that pop up in this world. Because Twilight's truest part, part of herself was pure Twilight evil. Not just kidding. To worry about in Equestria, we can't expect her to always be around to help us. But maybe I can be. It seems we have a new Wonder Colt here at Canterlot High. I'm not sure how much help I could be. But I'd like to try, if you would all give me a chance. Well, after what happened with Sunset, you... Count on you girls to help oh, great. You My battery's at 7%. Sure this can. is actually kind of bad. It might die right before the ending. Let's see if I can drag this plug far enough. Uh. Oh, that was an epic, cute little ending. Okay, I haven't had a weird angle, but I could still see it just fine. So let's see how it ends. I'm so sorry I didn't get here sooner. I didn't get your messages until just now because I was caught in this time travel loop. And honestly, it was the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. What? A time travel loop? Again? It finally happened. Make that the second strangest. Hey, they did it right. It's not like in Back to the Future. And at least they knew that. Although, if the world just blew up right there, that would have been the best ending, no lie, but then we'd have to make it non-canon. So mm. I'm watching still for two reasons. One, epic song. Two, if there's anything at the ending. That happened with uh, the first, with the second movie, and we could get a fourth movie, I doubt it, or we could more likely get a new television show. Those were some good songs. Right there in front of me, that's the final song. The villain song with the principal was awesome. The Let It Go parody song. There was some great music in this uh, movie. Sing it, Rebecca. I thought I needed more and that I couldn't get along. But who I am was all I ever needed. 
I'm sorry if I'm looking farther this way. I had to move my computer in a weird way to get it charging. Me. Oh, that's a trender hoof. That's cute. Cute. Oh, they're all eating the cake. <laughs> so I guess all princesses have a cake fetish, not just Sally. Oh, those are some nice picks. Mm. Awesome. Anything else? The participation of the... Okay. Oh my god, guys. It's over. It's done. That was My Little Pony Equestria Girls 3 Friendship Games. And I have only three words for you. Corrupted Twilight Sparkle! <laughs> this did not happen. This did not happen. This is not real. This is... I'm dreaming? I'm gonna wake up tomorrow, I'm gonna watch the friendship games, and Twilight's not going to have lost her shit. This did not happen. This is never gonna happen. It's never gonna happen. I haven't fantasized about this in season one. No, this is never gonna happen. That's what they all said, and I believe them. <laughs> in all seriousness, though. Goldfish, MVP of this reaction. That was incredible. I enjoyed it. Was that not obvious? Was that not clear when Twilight went evil? As a whole, this movie was interesting. It had good pacing, although at times it felt a little slow. Um, for an episode, but I keep forgetting this is a full-length movie, or close enough. I want to analyze this movie, and I probably will make a separate video. I'd love to make a separate video with a friend of mine about, you know, there's a couple friends who I know who'd probably love to do a review with me. And don't ask me. I mean, if you're, if you're somebody famous, of course, I'd immediately just be like, oh, yes, please, because, you know, pandering, but... You know, I have a couple people in mind who I might be able to do a review with that I think would be really fun of this movie. But, my short review is... freaking Demon Twilight Sparkle. Corrupted Twilight Sparkle wasn't supposed to ever happen. That was supposed to be completely off the table. That was about as off the table as... Solar Flare, Daymare Sun, whatever you want to call it, Evil Celestia. That's like... I've always considered those two characters the taboos of... MLP, the two things that will never happen in terms of villains, and to see how they worked around it. To see how they um, worked around it to make one of them happen was awesome. And I can't believe it. So yeah. That's it. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you next time with another video if you guys are new to the channel. Check out all my other videos. I do blind reactions of Fairy Tale, Cowboy Bebop, Ruby, MLP, um, Adventure Time, Ben 10. All kinds of stuff, just check it out. There's all kinds of fun stuff. No game, no life. Psychopaths. And, yeah. So, 
Flame and Shark, sign now. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day because between the cool new episode and this and corrupted Twilight Sparkle, evil Twilight Sparkle is all I need. This movie could have sucked and I still would be losing my crap because of that. So, oh my god, this is so good. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time for another video. And to be completely honest, I'm probably going to be taking a short break from reacting after this. Um, you might not see another video until the next MLP episode or whenever. I'm just, I'm just destroyed. This got me. I might pre-record some fairy tale for the future, or whatever. But. You guys probably won't see my face again for a few days, um, because I've been uploading every day, but after this, I think I'm gonna sit on this crazy freaking reaction. Anywho, yeah, Flame and Shark, sign out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.